Um, when we actually decided to go with Creative Poz, we found out that we were the first place to be a retail venue for a golf club for them. So some of the venues that he had, which were generally hospitality based, and we could have a look at the system, see how they worked for them, and then he took us away and we actually designed the system to the way we needed it and the way we liked it. Before when we were running the pro shop, when we had to reconcile all our green fees and stuff for the end of day, end of month, end of year, um, we actually had to do that manually. So we'd actually sit there and calculate all our fees and what we'd actually been charged and what we had to pay out. Now with Creative Pause, we just get that emailed to us at the end of the month, end of the week or end of the day, whenever we require it. One of the other things that we did when we were organising our system here for the Headland Golf Club Pro Shop is we took out a monthly servicing fee. So if we had any problems or anything, it would break down within the first two years. It was a straight swap of old equipment, old hardware, straight for a new system. So if our screen or monitor broke and it was in a busy period, they come out straight away, swap it over for us, hook it up and we're ready to go again. So the system that we used to have for our gift vouchers and our competition results was actually manual. So you weren't able to access it through the internet or the club website. So we had to write that up. Members would have to come into us to access to find out how much money they had on their accounts. Where now is what Creative Pause has done for us. We're able to actually show that on the internet. They can actually access it themselves or they can go ahead and look up, see how much they got, see what they want to spend it on. One of the reasons we actually went with Creative Pause is when we actually got our contract for the shop here, we had to open up on news day and be fully functional, but the people before us weren't out of the premise until 12 p.m. the night before on New Year's Eve. So we were lucky that Creative Pods were able to come in, set it all up for us, and we were actually active and ready to go by 7.30 that morning.